Hello, my name is Celia. If you have been here before, welcome back. And if you are new, welcome. We are doing yet another home tour reaction video. I have really enjoyed doing these. Please be sure to leave suggestions down in the comments uh, of home tours that you would like us to react to. And if you enjoy this type of content, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. So today we are doing the home tour of James Charles. Yes, twisted sister, sister, sister. Hey, sisters. <laughs> he is internet famous and one of those people that we have all watched rise to superstardom here on YouTube and subsequently he has a lot of money and so we are expecting to see a luxurious home. So let's jump right into James Charles's home. Yes, it's looking, I'm putting it together, I'm waiting. Twenty twenty Sisters House Tour. It's already giving I have a lot of money. <laughs> so let's get in. But it's also looking very like beige. Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome to the official 2020 house tour and also 20 million subscriber special. Okay, oh. I had no, I do not watch James Charles in all full transparency. This is a video from 2020. I don't watch his channel. Um, you know, we know that he's had some like scandals on here on the YouTubes before, um, but I had no idea he had 20 million subscribers. That is an astronomical amount of people watching this young man put makeup on his face. I mean, good for him. I mean, not good for him because racism, but you know. Are. A few months ago, I revealed to you guys on my Instagram that I actually purchased my first ever home, which has been my biggest dream since I was a little kid and has been my number one goal since actually starting in social media. And it is crazy that it became a reality. He's like, I've been wanting to buy a house since I was a little kid. Like how old can he be? Like 24, 25? Little kid. Hey guys, come on in. I'm so excited to show you the entire house. Obviously, upon entering the front door, we are in the nice, lovely entryway. And the first room that we have right here on the left is the formal living room. If you guys remember the last house tour that we were in, the vibe and like the layout is honestly pretty similar, but this house is like a trillion times better and bigger. So I'm so excited to show you guys. My favorite part about this entire formal living room is of course the fin on the ground, <laughs> but also this beautiful chandelier that we have in the ceiling and also this stunning floor to ceiling fireplace. My friends and I are in here all the time singing together and having little jam sessions. Personally, I cannot read music, but as long as you know how to play the classics, that's all that matters. Okay, we're starting in the formal living room. That was a lovely chandelier. It's already looking very beige, but it is giving very much money, which, you know, we cannot discount this young man's hard work and like whatever to get to where he is, like absolutely good for him, except racism. Um, I love the fireplace. His outfit to me, I mean, this was 2020, but like this jacket and the, the tank top is like, it the proportions are wrong um but we're not here to talk about him we're here to talk about his house it's feeling it's giving um target studio mcgee which is not bad it's just like you know a little a little boring a little neutral but we're just we're in the beginning of the house so let's move on but i did love that chandelier Coming out of the formal living room we are of course back into the entryway we just have this cute little circle mirror again this entryway like it's giving it's real studio mcgee target which and like no shade to studio mcgee target because you know it's a thing that people like love it's just i wanted to have a little more personality it doesn't look like it looks like anyone could live here it doesn't look like this young vibrant young man lives in this house 
secure. And I love this detail that literally looks like it's like hanging from a pen. Obviously it's secure on the wall because there's a lot of earthquakes here in California, but it's just perfect to check our face before we go out of the house and run any errands. Um, and then right around this way, we have the formal dining room. Now I say formal because honestly, the chances of us using this room are virtually very, very slim. Again, this space looks lovely. These, this table and chairs, it's all very classic, very clean. Um, yeah, like it's, it just feels very like, a pottery barn catalog like it just is lacking like the art doesn't speak to him nothing in this room says you know this is the home of a young vibrant you know painted face nails personality person this house feels like studio it feels like studio mcgee Along this wall, we just have the storage cabinet, and then right above it is this picture, which if you guys have been following me for a long time, you may have recognized this. This is actually a photo that I took myself on my senior trip in school to South Africa. There's actually a few different photos from the trip around the house, which you guys will spot throughout the tour. Okay, my mistake, the photo, if you've been following him for a long time, you know this is a picture he took on a senior class trip to South Africa. Okay, so then that does give it like a little personality. So... I guess he just proved me wrong on what I just said. But I, I kind of stand by the fact that it still feels very just like cut and paste. Next feature is the wine cellar. Now, wine cellars are pretty popular in newer construction builds, especially in the area that I'm in in California. But for somebody like me who doesn't drink wine, it's pretty pointless. And if you guys remember the last house, the wine cellar literally stayed empty for the entire year and a half that I was living there. So when we moved into this house, I was like, okay, we have to put something in there so it at least looks presentable. So we decided to fill it with one of my favorite drinks, Coca-Cola. <laughs> now that is a cute idea. That is an idea that is like, yes, this is making his home more about him. He doesn't drink wine. He has this wine cellar in his house, but let's fill it with Coca-Cola. That's fun. That's quirky. That's like, oh yeah, that's very cool. You walk in, you're like, why is this room full of coca-cola to my cellar like that is a thing that's like yes love that love that and then we also have the formal office i'm obsessed with these beautiful glass french doors that open up into the formal office now personally for me i'm not a very like formal office type person i honestly would just take my laptop and work anywhere which you guys obviously know um but we did want to have a cute little like office space just for anybody who does need to use it for anybody on my team and we also have my gaming setup here it has been like months since i've played any games or streamed online i low-key honestly miss games with james so if that's something you guys want to see come back okay again formal office it just feels like um which i think can you know be the case when you are dealing with a house that's really large and has rooms that are dedicated to things that you perhaps don't need them to be right he's saying like this is a formal office formal living room formal dining room and it's saying that like in all of these spaces like Basically, he never goes in there, <laughs> but they are, of course, you know, styled because he lives there and I'm sure worked with um, a designer to help him pull this together. The furniture in this room looks lovely. The shelves look well styled. These chairs um, that are kind of under the windows, you know, I we Kane is having a real moment. Kane with black is like, yes, yes, yes. I didn't even know this guy was a gamer. So that looks fun. Um Lots of faux plants, which I get. I get people who are like, I don't want to, you know, have real plants. I can't keep them alive. They find it too stressful. But there's a lot of faux plants. And I'm like, I want something to be alive in here. The light fixtures, though, are giving good vibes. Really enjoying the light fixtures so far. Honestly, you guys, when I walked into this house and saw the kitchen, it was almost like a guarantee in my heart that I needed to buy this house because a kitchen really is the heart of the home. Now, this is kitchen. Like, Sean would give a left foot for this kitchen. This is a big, beautiful kitchen. Again, love the light fixtures. Um, it's kind of like, and perhaps this is just his style, and I don't know because I don't, I'm not, a, like, a watcher of his channel. It's very... Um, modern farmhouse which is studio mcgee it kind of has that like 
yeah, farmhouse but like contemporary modern like vibe at the same time. Um, this is not an AD tour, so it is missing that like AD expert styling that we know AD does when you um, are doing a house tour. Um, but it's still, you know, not, it has like a little tchotchkes here and there. I do notice that there are like three sets of three canisters, which is like, you're not using all of those canisters, but it's just trying to fill this big empty space. And he's young. He doesn't have like children and, uh, you know, uh, not necessarily just children, but just like he ha- he hasn't yet collected things and found out really maybe what his style truly is to actually add things to this space and layer it in a more organic way, which is why it looks a little staged and a little like we went to Target and had a shopping spree and then we kind of just threw things in the space, which is what it's giving a little bit. But this it's a beautiful kitchen. The paint color on the cabinets are lovely. And like I said, I really like these light fixtures. It is no secret that I do not cook, okay? <laughs> I'm not hiding it. I post weights literally every single meal. But despite the fact that I do not cook, my friends and I are in the kitchen all the time, eating, sitting at the island, filming mukbangs together. Is it mukbang or mukbang? What are you looking at me? I thought you, I feel like you should know this. I thought it was mukbang. I thought it was mukbang too. He said filming mukbangs. It's I don't know. Mukbang. Tell me what, what is it down in the comments. Okay, so right across from the kitchen, we have one of my favorite spaces in the entire house, which is the living room. Right away in this living room, yes, I'm into it because it is giving very much Studio McGee. Like, I, if Studio McGee, <laughs> I would not be surprised if Studio McGee was not responsible for helping him style this space. Um, these chairs are lovely. This bench in front of the TV, yes, love. Giant coffee table. Everything is feel, filling out the space really well. Um, it's nice and lay. It looks nicely layered. It makes sense. The colors are nice. It just is a little boring. I don't know what the word is um, because it's not boring. It's just beige. It's very cream. It's very white. It's very... It's very 2000s in the styling. Like, I think before the pandemic really hit and, like, people were really at home and they were, like, you know, after being at home for a year, like, we got to make this house feel like ours. This kind of vibe was very, very popular because it was this um, level of cleanliness and a level of togetherness and like the cream sofa and the cream this and the leather accent and the black accent. Like it was a, a it was a style. Uh, a very contemporary modern farmhouse style that was it really does continue to like, you know what I'm saying? Have the girls in a chill code. And I get it. I truly do get it. But like just looking at like the layering on the bookshelves, like it looks nice, but nothing. Well, I see he has like his YouTube play button, button but like nothing is like him. Nothing is personal. It's just very like the Vogue book, the uh, Chanel book. You know, it's just like, it's like ticking boxes like the relaxation destination have a little rhyme like i mentioned the kitchen i do like this like vintage looking chain over here it looks like on the on the bookshelf that looks actually really really cool um we've got some more faux thing like my man bought all the faux eucalyptus no shade though you know like it's creating a moment and doing what he needed it to do while we're in one of my favorite rooms that I feel like has really, really good decor, I feel like it is only appropriate to give a shout out to the interior design company that did the entire house from day one, which is Leclerc Decor. Now, renovating this home has been a really stressful project, but also a really rewarding project. And working with Leclerc Decor was definitely one of the most like rewarding partnerships I have ever had. I have nothing but like- Okay, so he is naming someone, and I am not familiar with this interior design studio, but like just looking at the pictures, well, that's not true. Like the pictures that they have here are giving him just a little bit more, but okay, it makes sense that he it he worked with um an interior designer because yeah, it's giving like some, a professional definitely touched it, and I think that's probably why it's lacking what feels a little bit like the personal touch. 
I'm gonna take you guys up this beautiful rounded staircase, which coincidentally, when I was first looking at this home, I hated so much. This entire wall used to be all shiplap and the railings were different and it was so ugly. I actually talked to my contractor about removing the rounded staircase altogether. But once we made a few changes, it really came together and now I am obsessed. It is the most beautiful, stunning focal point of the home and I just love that it brings your eye upwards into this gorgeous round landing area. Another lovely style group of shelving. Um, the furniture is very modern. Love it. It's still like, there's nothing bad to say. Like it is very attractive because he worked with professionals. Um, so like, yeah, the furniture looks cool. Love the chair, love the table. The, the shelves are expertly styled. It's just still giving like, you know, yeah. Speaking of having looks on, the first room that I want to take you guys to upstairs is the fitting room. Now this is once again one of those bedrooms that we converted into a more place, but we actually are in here literally all the time. I hope you guys have noticed, but I've been working a lot on my style recently, trying to just go for more elevated, high fashion looks. My man is high. he's like, I got a stylist, I got an interior designer, he's working on his style to get more elevated designer looks. I'm not mad. I mean, the shoe collection is looking enviable okay but that's what money will give you you ain't got to play with the sneakers app when you got the coins you just go straight to resale i give me what i need I have clothing racks with different future outfits some of these you guys have seen some of them you have not seen just yet so hopefully you'll be excited we have a bunch of really cool pairs of shoes as well to pair along with the outfits and then we have this massive floor to ceiling mirror which is either our fitting room mirror or also a lot of times we learn tiktoks in here too and this is like now in studio based on what was just happening on those clothing rails this stylist did not put together the look he has on and that's the proportions it's just, uh, but I do see a real plant in this room, holler, maybe because he spends a little bit more time up here. It is easy, so they don't need that much attention. So that's fantastic. That is a beautiful mirror. Love this. I mean, this is a very enviable closet room, you know, like it doesn't look like appear to be his closet. It looks more like a dressing room. Next door to the fitting room is Lewis's bedroom. Now you guys obviously know Lewis. He's in the background of almost every single one of my videos and you've seen him on my Instagram as well. I don't want to go too in depth because obviously this is his space and not mine. Um, I, if I had to use adjectives to describe this room, it would be um, straight. Oh, sure. I, well, what else do I want to say? There's artwork of a girl getting changed on the wall. There's shoes art. everywhere. It's art. It is art. But it's I'm kind of into Lewis's room. Now, Lewis's room is giving you Lewis, it's got sneaker art. He's got his sneakers up on the wall. Um, he's got the girl picture of the girl changing clothes. Like I'm into what Lewis's room is giving. Like the straight vibe is cool. Like Lewis apparently is straight, is giving straight Lewis vibes. Right next door to Lewis's room is the laundry room. There's not much to say about the laundry room. There's a double washer and dryer because we have so many clothing items in this house that need to get washed all the time. My New York City living self is like, they have both two washers and two dryers. And please, I need a washer dryer inside my house. And then right across the hall from Lewis's room is Trevor's room. Once again, this is Trevor's space, not mine, so I don't want to do the tour for him, but it's very, very cute, very simple. He has his desk there because Trevor is still in college, which is incredible. He balances doing a full on schoolwork and working with me full time, which is amazing. We love him and we stand. Okay, Lewis, is it Lewis? What did he just say? Lewis, Lewis's room a little less personalized than the other guy, Trevor. Lewis's room doesn't have the same personal vibes as Trevor's room. Um, but again, another live plant. Again, the furniture, everything looks really beautiful. It's just... Right into my space. We have this beautiful four poster bed. Keep okay, this is a huge room. I wanted it to give more. It's giving more of the same. I didn't watch this. I watched the other house tours before we filmed. This one I didn't because I was like, I want to come into it with fresh eyes. But honey, my goodness, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. It's just like... Yeah, I, I think that the, 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 the answer... Well, I'll save. I'll save it. Let's see. Okay, now we're in his closet. Let's see what the closet's talking about. A lot of work to be done in here. Like I was mentioning, it was a his and hers type of situation. And originally this closet was the like his closet. It used to be gray, black, 
very like dark and dreary and it actually had a door on it so we opened up the okay this is the costume closet which okay cool fun i'm just gonna keep scrubbing because it's really just like it's white the clo it's not giving you mariah carey closets it's just like it, it's a clean freshly redone closet enviable shoe collection it's closet Oh, then, okay. He didn't even, it says to be continued. He was talking too much on his own video. I had no idea. So, okay. I think that the, the in summation, right, of this one is that this is a young man. This is a young man who has recently come into money uh, and just has not identified how he wants to make his space. He hasn't, he, he's still too... He's really young. That's what I'm trying to say. He's really young. And that is young. What, 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 how am I trying to say that? He doesn't have any love experience. Yeah, it's, he's missing life experience to say, I want to add this into my space. Like, he's young. He's coming to money. Hiring an interior desire, designer firm is like, yeah, make my space look nice because I don't really know how to do that because I'm young. And that's completely fair and completely understandable. And this interior design firm has done a beautiful job. The home is lovely. Uh, it just is lacking the eye of someone with a little bit more life experience and a little bit more like, okay, I want to inject some color here or I want to inject more texture in this way. I want to inject my personal aesthetic, you know, outside of a waterfall photograph, um, my like personal whatever into the space. That's my assessment. Um, again, I, you know, I come to this with an eye of like color and texture and art and stuff and tchotchkes. And it just feels a little like this is the home, you know, when you're in college, cause he's kind of college age. When you're in college, your home is full of crap that you don't really care about. You haven't figured out what you want to fill your space with um and he's just in that phase but just with a lot of money <laughs> so yeah okay so in conclude i it was a lovely home kudos to the interior design firm i'm interested to hear what you guys think how are you guys have you seen this video before what do you think let me know down in the comments and again give me suggestions on other home tours to share and react to as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye